Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today to share with you a couple of journals that I made for um, each of my two sons. Um, so they are, you know, basically the same size. Uh, let's just see here, roughly eight, uh, just a little bit over five, but eight by five. And um, so I'll start with the first one here. Um, this one here is, was made for my oldest son, Julian. He is going to be 16. Um, uh, so with his, he just wanted something sort of um, not so hard, a little more durable. Um, he is an artist, so he loves to draw. So I thought this would be a perfect place for him to uh, put some memorabilia if he had some. Um, and you know to draw and journal and I know not a lot of kids his age do that but uh, you know you never know so anyways uh, this is what I came up with for him so I did um, sort of a soft cover I think I used um, old filed folders that I had and um, I distressed everything I darkened up the edges and I mod podged um, so it kind of gives it that shiny sort of leathery look to it um, and then I uh, for the just this little spine part here I had I have this uh, super old roll of something that my dad gave me and it's almost like a silky but it's very 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 sticky on the opposite side so um, it works well for um, binding uh, it holds it together pretty well so um, just a, a Tim Holtz um, plaque or plate and inside it just says creativity um, because he is super creative. So just quickly, um, I coffee stained uh, all the papers. Um, he sort of just liked that sort of old look. So that's what I did. So inside here, I just put a glycine bag. Um, I did some stamping. We all know my stamping is pitiful. So um, it is what it is. He doesn't really know the difference, so it doesn't matter. He's already got some stuff in there. And then the papers are, are really nice, so and it smells good too. So you know, just put a little things, a few things in there he can write on. I'll just quickly go through because it's actually uh, I should tell you first. I have um, let me see one. I think it's four signatures, and they're just on elastic bands. So this actual one he can take out if he wants to, and the rest of them I sewed in. So, uh, so yeah, he could just do some doodling on there. Different kind of papers. He's already drawn a wolf there. He, he loves wolves. Wolves. So, um, some envelopes. You can put things in. A little bit more stamping there. He could just draw. Uh, journaling spots made a few pockets uh, you know he can tuck stuff in if he wants really pretty colored on that um, so just different papers there's some copy paper in here there's you know really thick cardstock another envelope journaling pages I thought I had passed another drawing that he did in here where did it go Oh, some writing. Wow, I'm impressed. Anyhow, uh, really cute stamp there. Another pocket. So basically the same. I use some of these little uh, pockets from um, Michael's. I used them in another journal earlier on another video. So mini craft bags from Michael's. Um, oops. Uh, Really cute to use, craft, they're, they're like craft paper. So I also coffee stained that. And just more blank pages. He loves the outdoors, animals. He's a nice outdoorsy kind of kid. So the journaling spots. And that's about it. So handmade by mom. And that's it. So just plain and simple, easy. Didn't take long to do. And, uh, he may even be using it, so that's a bonus for me. 
so that's that one. That's it right there. And um, the next one I made was for uh, my son Daniel. He's 13. And he's also very outdoorsy, but uh, he's very different from my other son. So this is what I got for him, what I made for him anyways. Adventure ed wait, awaits, uh, go and find it. And then up here it says, enjoy the little moments in life. This is like the prettiest paper I've seen in a long time in terms of something I could have used, could use for um, uh, a mail. So I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but... You know, you can see the trees. It almost looks like a water with, you know, the the um, fog, and you know, it's just really, really pretty paper. I actually have the um, pad here. I can show you before we go into that. Um, so it's all, it's for Michaels. It's called Indigo Gold, and I'll just give you a quick look at some of the stuff in here. Super, super pretty. Some of them I didn't use because I thought they were just a little too feminine, but the gold in some of these papers is just gorgeous. So this is one of the ones I really liked. Um, you can see the scene, scenery. Really nice for scrapbooking pages, which I don't do anymore, but really, really pretty. Just loved it. A lot of gold foiling. Um, what else? This one says hello. Yeah, really, really cute. I'm going to be using this again for something else. Oh, and at the back it had a whole bunch of cutouts and stuff, so that made it fun too. Really sweet. Anyhow, so that's that. Um, and so for Daniels, I also made four signatures. Um, I just used elastic... Uh, what do you pieces of elastic um, that I just sort of tied on the inside and then I just slipped slipped um, the elastic that was around the signature around the binding so it, there, the, he could pull out every page here if he wanted to so but just really simple on the cover I didn't want to cover anything up um, by embellishing the front and I thought the paper spoke for itself in terms of what uh, how I explain my son <laughs> Adventure it waits for sure is very adventurous. So there's his name Daniel in some of the cutouts that were at the back there uh, All who wander are Not all who wander are lost. So that's pretty true in here I just sort of did a mishmash of all different papers. I'm um, journaling. There's copy paper. There's papers from the paper pad um, So just a whole combination of different things um, It's all about the journey not the destination so lots of places for him to write. He doesn't draw um, like my other son does, but uh, so there's little pockets, places he could put things in, and pretty much it's just random all the way through. So, you know, I made some pockets and used some of the cutouts and like that. See how everything slides around? I kind of wanted that for him so that he can, you know, remove things if he wanted to or. So lots of lots of uh, places for uh, writing or drawing, or if we go away on vacation, I thought it would be really good. So there's a little side pocket, um, shine like the stars. And I made a big pocket on the side here. Another pocket here. Some more of that pretty paper. Lots of places for drawings and writing. one that says hello pretty much perfect in every way and yes he is he's really a good kid another little pocket um, journaling so pretty much the same all the way through uh, I did made a couple little places with these little booklets and stapled some pages so a little more hidden if he wants to uh, little little envelope you can tuck something in there this is the last signature um, do more of what makes you happy super cute paper writing places what's in here oh just a little tuck um, a pocket here 
And then this page, I just made a little booklet. It says hello. And just blank pages inside that he could use to write something on. And it just slides into there. And that's it. And my personal message to him. And that is all. So, uh, and I used an elastic band closure for that one. So that's it. I just wanted to share my quick little junk journals that I made for my boys. And they were fun to make. And I just hope they use them now. And, and that's it. So hope you're all doing well. And um, let me know what you think. Um, and we will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.